Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Fearless Thinking, a podcast designed to help you navigate authentic leadership and the entrepreneurial journey. I'm your host, Michael DeVu, and these are my thoughts, lessons, and insights from my entrepreneurial journey into coaching, workshops, motivational speaking, and of course, what I pick up from interviews with inspiring leaders and entrepreneurs along the way. My mission is to help people unlock their untapped potential by using fear as a catalyst for powerful change and growth so they can step into the greatest version of their most authentic selves. All right, let's get into some fearless thinking. Hey friends, welcome back to Fearless Thinking. I'm your host, Michael DeVu. This is episode 24, Free Your Fear, Cultivating Innovation. Um, this week, we've been exploring the four Fs of making fear your friend, the framework that I use in my keynote speech, uh, speeches, and my motivational speaking, my uh, coaching and consulting, as well as, well, everything. Really, I love looking at fear. I love looking at fear and innovation, creativity, all those things. I love exploring how fear, for those of us who are on the entrepreneurial journey, uh, being leaders, executives, and mentors, fear become, fear's an interesting thing for us. What I've discovered um, when I started this journey of actually exploring the impact of fear uh, for us was that we tend to have a very different approach and relationship with fear. Uh, and that just really sparked some fascinating things for me. I wanted to discover more about that. I wanted to ask questions and interview people, which is what the Fearless Road podcast is about, is really asking other people, innovators, ideators, you know, executives, leaders, and entrepreneurs, what their relationship with fear was and how they've used it on their journey. Um, I think all of us face fear in all of us do face fear. It just depends on how we approach and what we use it for when we're moving down that pr proverbial fearless road towards success. And those steps that we take while trying to build our dreams and chase our passions, I think is a very telling and interesting place to explore. You know, it's the valleys, not the mountains that we're looking at. And I think we can get some really amazing tips, tricks, and advice. So today we are talking about step four, Final step in making fear your friend. It's feel, uh, foster, flip, and free. And today is free your fear. Um, we already explored how to feel your fear on, on Monday and to foster your fear on Tuesday and to flip that fear on Wednesday. And the final step today we're talking about is to free yourself from your fear. Um, fear of change um, can be a significant barrier, by the way, to innovative thinking and innovation itself. It can prevent us from trying new things, or it, it can, try, uh, it, it can blah, blah, pardon me, prevent us from implementing new, ide new ideas. It can also stop us from talking very well. Think about social media giants like Facebook, um, Meta, if you will, constantly evolving to stay ahead of the curve. Um, almost all of the new business models, iterative business models. Thank you, Apple and all these other companies that, that have to helped us develop these. Um, fear of change would have, would have made them cling to outdated practices. They never would have innovated and changed. They never would have even put into place policies, processes, and functionalities that help them stay nimble and adaptive and pivot based on feedback from their consumers and their customers which means they have to be open to hearing when something isn't working and be willing to change that. And if you had fear getting in the way of you thinking innovatively, you wouldn't be, well, you wouldn't be Apple. You wouldn't be meta. You wouldn't be successful, right? And the final F in making for your friend, which signifies pretty much really taking control now, recognizing the power to choose how we react to fear and not just how we react to fear, how we use fear, how our relationship with fear has now shifted around. Not only has our relationship with fear changed for us by fostering a new relationship with it, but now we've flipped our perspective. So our relationship to fear has also changed because we see it differently, right? We now have an understanding that fear is a tool 
and not a hindrance. It is a fuel and a guide, right? Helping us navigate our journey with greater clarity and confidence. Um, like I said in the beginning about, um, you know, how Hirschfeld and uh, how our brains perceive our future selves, and we are always strategically planning for our future. We are always trying to think of ways to build our dreams and bring them to life into the world. So building your future proof committee um, is, is a part of this strategic practice, if you will, with feel, foster, and flip. So imagine your future self as a key member of your future proof committee, the committee that gathers weekly to discuss your strategic ende endeavors and initiatives, your uh, future proof committee that is there to talk about how we're going to implement these moving forward, how we're going to tackle potential obstacles that are facing us. If it's really windy, I apologize. The wind is blowing like crazy out here. Um, by following the four F's of making fear your friend, you can create a very strong team that includes the, your future version of yourself seated alongside you at your future proof committee table. Fear is no longer on the other side of the table attacking you. Fear is no longer on the other side of the table throwing <laughs> wrenches into your plans. Fear is now on this side of the table sitting pride, pridefully, whatever, right next to you, right? Giving you guidance and advice. Um, this ensures that your future self is not just on your side, but is now actively participating in, in achieving your goals. The whole process that we did of feeling our fear, uh, fostering a relationship with our fear, and then flipping our fear is to actively bring fear over to the other side, <laughs> to bring fear <laughs> out of the darkness and into the light uh, and, and onto our team, right? We've now turned it into a valuable participant uh, with us on this journey. It's no longer an unfamiliar unknown. It is something we have tangibly and actively worked at giving value to. So now when we think about our future self, our brain no longer puts that person and that idea of that person and the plans that person is coming up with in the unknown category. It now puts it in the known category and a valuable space where we need to make sure it's taken care of, right? Fearless leaders cultivate environments where everyone feels empowered to share their ideas and take risks. And that includes you cultivating an environment where your fear feels empowered to share its ideas and to help you take risks. This is essential in fostering, hello, there's the word foster, step two, innovation and creating positive change. Think of companies like Patagonia, ah, amazing, past year, known for their environmental activism and commitment to employee well-being. Fearless leaders and leadership create a ripple effect leading to more impactful and sustainable futures. Uh, this is a practice you can bring into your organizations. This is a practice you can bring into your committees. This is a practice that you can share with your employees and your staff to help them be more comfortable with future-proofing their own committees to empowering themselves and their own fear to share their ideas and take uh, calculable, calculable risks. Um, so if you're ready to commit to the journey of making fear your friend, you know, join the movement. Follow the 4Fs uh, framework. Unlock that an incredible potential that you have for success and creating impactful change and turn fear into a powerful force for good. Put that fear on your future proof committee. It's time. So thank you for joining me this week uh, as we explore the 4Fs framework of making fear your friend with feel, foster, flip, and free. Um, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I love, I love talking about it. I'm very passionate about this. Maybe I can help you out. You know where you can find me. Um, maybe I can help you. Uh, breakthrough with uh, the four F's of making fear your friend. So unlock the steps to future proof your success and make fear your friend today and every day, right? Remember, your future self is depending on you to do that. So thanks for joining us at Fearless Thinking, uh, episode 24, the four F's of making fear your friend. We've come to the end of the four F's, which is finally to free your fear. You're now free, free to go about and move about the cabinet, if you will. Uh, turn off the seatbelt lights. <laughs> we're at cruising altitude, babe. This is how this works. Uh, yeah, so we're going to explore a little bit more of these ideas about uh, making for your friend in the four Fs throughout the rest of our journey this year, talking about mentorship, leadership, entrepreneurship. 
authenticity and all those beautiful, wonderful things. I'll be bringing these topics back in and weaving them throughout a little bit. Uh, but for now, you know, let's create a future where fear isn't the barrier, but it's just a catalyst. It's a beautiful, wonderful, warm catalyst for growth and innovation um, for, for us to step into the greatest version of our most authentic selves. That's, that's what we're supposed to do here. You know, that's what we're supposed to be. So go be, uh, be amazing, be fearless, go do some fearless thinking and share some of this good news with everybody out there about making for your friend. And I will see you tomorrow on Friday. It's Friday. So have a wonderful day. Mm, do some fearless thinking. I'll talk to you. Okay. Bye.